Hi, Dr. Bresen. What is the amyloid hypothesis, and how does the Bresen protocol differ? The amyloid hypothesis has been around for several decades now, and the idea is you look under the microscope, you see amyloid, oh, maybe that's what's causing Alzheimer's. And the support for it came from genetics and came from biochemical studies. Yes, you can put amyloid on neurons and it damages them, yes. And so we understand much more now than just amyloid. And in fact, the amyloid has turned out to be a protective substance that your brain produces to sequester uh, and to isolate and to kill these pathogens. So as part of the innate immune system, yes, it's associated ultimately with some degree of inflammation, but it is far from the cause of Alzheimer's and far from the only thing going on in the brain of someone with Alzheimer's. And therefore, to get best outcomes, we need to identify and address the reasons that you're making that amyloid and what's actually happened. And we have, of course, the best results in the world and unprecedented improvements as well as sustained improvements when we go beyond amyloid and look at the various pieces that are actually driving the decline.